so let's talk about how to read a capacitor's value. Here we have electrolytic capacitors, and the good news is that's pretty easy to read. So you literally look on the capacitor, and you find the number. Here you can see it circled in red. This says 10, and there's a little mu, so that means it's microfarads. And this one's an axial capacitor. This is a radial capacitor, but again, it's printed directly on the capacitor, and it says 0.47 microfarads, all right? And so you read it just directly off the capacitor. On a disk capacitor, this is how you read it. There is a number, three digits and a letter, printed, and so you read it. The first number is the first digit, 7 is the second number, it's the second digit, then the 2 is number of zeros, so that's 4700 zero, zero here, and then the fourth digit gives you a tolerance, so that's K plus or minus 10%. These capacitors always have units of picofarads, for, so this is 4700 picofarads plus or minus 10%. So let's look at another example. This one would be three, three, and then one zero. So 330, and what units did we say? It's always picofarads, so it's 330 picofarads. And it's with a tolerance of J, so I look over to my code, and J is plus or minus 5%. So let's advance forward and see if that's what we got. Yep, three, three, zero plus or minus 5%, and that is in picofarads. Now this is a mylar capacitor, and it works the same th way. So this is one, zero, now three zeros. One, two, three, so this is 10,000 K plus or minus 10%. And it is 10,000 picofarads plus or minus 10%. All right, I hope that helps you, and um, we'll talk to you soon.